Good morning, Joan Barbara. I can hear you now, so any questions you want to ask, go ahead. These guys have to be the envy of anyone in Washington, D.C., except for the fact that they have to be here at 555 before they go on the air at 6 o'clock. Now, some of them were here a little earlier than that. They get to sit around and talk sports, talk about the Redskins. Right now, over here, we have JP, who showed up last, and you look the most rested. Thank you very much. I do shower in the morning, unlike the rest of my derelict friends. It doesn't smell like many people shower in here. No, no, it's pretty much pig pen. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the job? Uh, when I go home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Look, these are lifelong friends. Yeah. We've known each other at a minimum since high school, some of us since we're three years old, and we just get to hang out and have fun on the air and make fun of the Redskins on a day like today. And you're writing a book about boxing. I am writing a book about boxing. I didn't fare so well in the ring. Two what? minutes and 59 seconds, if you want to know. All right, and we're going to find out why the guys make fun of him for his boxing book when we come back. Reporting live from WJFK, The Junkies, I'm Kimberly Suiters. Barbara and Joe, back to you. We'll be back with you in just a little bit. Behind the scenes of your favorite radio stations, and first up this Monday morning, WJFK and the Morning Junkies. Newsworks Kimberly Suter shows us live from their studios in Fairfax, where this morning they're discussing the Redskins game. <laughs> Anything else you might imagine? <laughs> hey, Kimberly. And you can look at the run pass hey, ratio. Good morning, Joe. Hey, guys. Hey, there's Kimberly. You are live on TV right, right. now, so the horny zoney stuff. Yeah, we've got to downplay that. We Just understand. Just downplay those things, okay? <laughs> right. but continue. Let's listen in. What's well, going on? What are you talking about? We're just talking about the Redskins. Yes, yeah. playoff chances. Playoff chances. Those might be bleak now. Well, they're not bleak. They're still in the mix. Like I said, they can win for the next six and still make the playoffs. Yeah, if they win three, I believe they're They're playing the way they are playing right now, and I think they're getting dominated at the line, defensive line and offensive line. Playing this way, they're not going to win like they were earlier in the season. And Cakes, you said you're ready to bury him. Oh, I'll He's always, always, ready to always bury the Redskins prematurely. I thought I you mean, said you were a ray of sunshine. What's up? <laughs> He's well, not, I mean, I, 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 look at that face. Is he a ray yeah, of sunshine? I flip flop all the time. He buries everybody, everybody prematurely. I just see a 3,000 mile trip to Seattle where it's a tough place to play. We saw the Redskins lose to Seattle. All right, guys, Joe and Barbara have a question for you. Yeah, yes. Sorry. I just had, uh, He was saying that the, he thought the line, they're really getting dominated at the yeah, line. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> they were getting down. The Redskins are getting dominated at the line. But is, is it that or is it the. Uh, Jim Zorn offense is just uh, not going anywhere. Getting dominated. You say they are getting dominated at the line, but do you think it's really the Jim Zorn offense that's the problem? I don't think it's the Jim Zorn offense. It's the personnel right now. They, they face the Steelers, who are a great defense, and they gave up a bunch of sacks. And the Cowboys have great personnel. Most people thought the Cowboys were the Super Bowl favorite heading into this season. So it's maybe understandable, but they were getting pressured a lot, which made Jason Campbell have no time, couldn't connect with his receivers. I and have then, a problem the with the yeah, yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, EB, you have a I have a problem with the offense. I did some good. Listen, we were winning this game at halftime. By three. I counted the, the oh, so what? We were winning three three points. It's not like we were coming from behind. I see the pass to run ratio twenty one to seven in the second half. All right, Joe Barber, this debate continues. We gave up on the run. Why? Uh, it's not gonna end. Mark Monk and Daryl Green, those cute outfits they were wearing last Sports. night, the camel colored jackets. I'll ask you that when we get back. <laughs> they look so I'll hear good. About that next time. He All right, here. thanks, Barbara. Thanks. 621, the time. Time for traffic and weather on the ones. Did you see how handsome they look? They did look good, but they look good uh, all the time. <laughs> they do. We don't see much of them these days. So Tom Kieran, good morning. We're playing a little Monday morning quarterback this week. We're talking to and going behind the scenes with your favorite morning radio personalities. Today it's the Sports Junkies from 106.7 WJFK. Find out what they have to say about the Redskins game. Uh, we've got a lot to say, I can tell you that. And a lot more. Let's, uh, meanwhile, let's get a check on it. But until that game in Seattle, we're talking about that bad loss to the Cowboys last night. The Junkies on 106.7 uh, hashing that game over. Probably people calling in to talk about it. They're hashing it over with Kimberly <laughs> Suiters this morning, too. Yeah, we gotta say it may smell like hash there in the studio. She's probably learning a whole lot more about these guys than she ever wanted to. As we stop by your favorite morning stations this week, Kimberly, good morning to you. You said it smelled like a dorm room. I want to know whether it smelled like a dorm room before or after the party. You think you're just gonna get four down to Okay, party? guys, I'm sorry, but Joe Krebs, you are now live yes. on Channel 4. Yes, Joe, Joe Krebs Kimberly. wanted to know whether it smelled like a dorm room before or after the show. No, not a dorm, a frat house. <laughs> right. There's a big difference. <laughs> It was, it's, it was funky in here, and this you know is before what? anybody came in. We're our best behavior today. Yeah. I've, I've been very reserved. Usually I'm the chief offender.
bartender. I have been holding everything we in have. until NBC leaves. Wait till you leave. No, 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 no. It's ratings. Go for it. Just keep it clean. I have been keeping it clean. No. No, I've been uh, good I've so been, far. I'll be honest. I've been keeping a cork in it. As soon as Kimberly leaves, we're yeah. letting loose. He didn't Seriously? bring in his eggs. Yeah. Usually he brings in, like, egg whites. Yeah. And it's... I think it's foul today. <laughs> it's usually way worse. Well, like, I, I am get, watching my feet. You're getting yeah. off easy. <laughs> Yo, fried chicken in the morning. Uh, well, shake and bake. <laughs> shake and bake, fried chicken. It's the, oh, shake oh, and bake. I like shake and bake. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's Who good doesn't? Stuff. <laughs> I'm just stunned. You had a problem with hornyforzorny.com and bringing that up. And then you bring up gas in the studio? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> It was it was funk. Okay. It's funk in like we know the where I'm going. Or the walls or right. something. Right. Well, we, we know it's not Kimberly because she looks beautiful. Oh, oh yeah, she certainly does. does. Thank you. By the way, she Shout definitely out. has like sequins or like stripper glitter on the bottom of her, <laughs> of her pants. I know it's sequins. I was going from cheap zig. You said she had sequins. You said she had sequins. I don't want to get anywhere near her pants because then my wife's going to think I was, you know, like in fantasy. All I say is I keep my clothes on. Now you look fucking. You're so, yeah, like, wow. Now you're on course. Now I'm playing dirty. <laughs> yes. All right, it's time to go to break, John. Oh, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> It's time to go before something breaks. So are they dieting now on the egg whites, I wonder? I don't know. <laughs> what about the story with the egg whites? We'll get that when we talk to them again. 6.38 is the time, 36. Hey, we're catching up with your favorite morning DJs. Our first stop, WJFK and the Morning Junkies. News Force Kimberly Suiters has been hanging out with the guys this morning. Kimberly, good morning to you. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning. We absolutely cannot tell you what we've been talking about in here. Um, it is it has risen to the frat house level. Or it sank. Or it sank. That's right. That's right. What are you guys going to talk about next? Uh, maybe that last segment. No. Oh, no. What EB wrote down in the back. No, we, I gotta hide that. I gotta hide that. You know what? It's still disenchantment here. I think people are still getting in their cars. It's one thing that we're learning. Right. People are just getting in every 15 minutes, and people want to talk about the Redskins, biggest story in town. Joe and Barbara, what do you want to ask the guys? Well, I told you I was curious. I, I'm, I'm sure you probably saw Art Monk and Daryl Green when they came out to get their Hall of Fame rings last night, and how wonderful they look. Where did they get those fabulous outfits? They were the twins. They were dressed exactly alike. I don't know how often you all talk about this. Uh, Art Monk, Daryl Green, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. Hall of Famers. But Barbara wants to know what you think about their great outfits that they wore. Do they wear, black. like, black and then their, their Hall of Fame jackets on top? I believe I saw the, the shots of them getting inducted yeah. into the Hall of Fame last night. I actually think we should leave this for cakes because you once hosted a fashion show. I certainly did. Cake and Jill. They're all very fashionable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of these. Right. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, so I think that looks good. The bottom turtlenecks. Scully here. <laughs> right. Uh, you know what? I don't mind the black on black, but those yellow jackets are hideous. They're Hall of Fame jackets. I know, jackets. but it's yellow. It's gross. Would you wear a green jacket if you won the Masters? Of course I would, but I shoot 110 on beauty. <laughs> All right, but if you were Daryl Green, you'd wear the ugly yeah, yellow you know jacket. I probably would wear it all over the place. Right. If you're Kimberly, do you want to see what I have on underneath my wizard sweatpants? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know what you don't have on underneath oh, yeah. wizard sweatpants. But thank you for sharing that. You I appreciate you trying to boost ratings. It's yeah. no yeah, better. You understand. Nice. You get it, how the gig goes. Yeah. It's all about we love you. We get that. Yeah. Sure. We appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Joe and Barbara, any more questions? They're keeping it so clean for you, you have no idea. No, as, long as, as long as we're on the fashion uh, thing, what did they think about the burgundy on burgundy uniforms? And uh, they went back to the white uh, tops and the burgundy pants last and night. Barbara burgundy. We'll loosen her up. All right, burgundy on burgundy <laughs> uniforms. How do we feel about Didn't that? Like it. Plus, we lost that that night too, right? That was was that the Steelers matchup? Yeah, yeah. Was the Steelers game. Love it. Love the burgundy on burgundy, the white on white. You have eight uniforms. Who cares? More merchandise sales. <laughs> what all about it? Why did they go black? Who was wearing black yesterday? The Oh, it was Saturday. Florida State was wearing black. Did you notice that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, try blackout. All right, in a minute here, the junkies are going to go back to uh, Monday early morning quarterbacking. I'm Kimberly Suiters live at WJFK. Joan Barba, back to you. Okay. Was that JP who said he wanted to loosen yeah, me up a little bit? We are. We are. Yeah, the, this, is JP. this is JP. No, that's JP right there. Yeah. What did you want to know about JP? I'm pretty memorable. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, is that JP? Ooh. All right. Thanks, so. Let's not cure all of Barbara, a lot they want to get you there. in here. Okay. Barbara, they want to get you in here, yeah. and I would be very worried. <laughs> I, okay. Yeah, well, that, that sounds pretty exciting to me. <laughs> Kimberly, Kimberly, come back healthy. <laughs> Thanks very much. All right. Let's check traffic and weather.